So we have got the Bailey Pegasus GT65 Verona and we've got this lovely big front roof light that we're going to have a look at inside how much of a difference that actually makes to the light etc. On the outside of this it's the 2015 so we've got the external barbecue point, we've got the external 230 volt socket our battery box is mounted on the side and then we've got our storage lockers either side at the front so again a nice extra bit of storage this has got the motor mover fitted on the front hitch we've got the alco stabilized hitch head we've got the alco atc and then our normal handbrake and 13 pin electrics moving around to the other side we've got another wet locker so again just for storage nice usable space our gas locker on these goes onto the side so again we can store two six kilogram gas bottles on there and this one uh, is just set up for the propane you can swap it over so if you wanted to use butane there is a possibility to do that and then we've got our water pump inlet our flue for our heater and then our wastewater outlets here and then our actual cassette toilet goes at the back here so we've got our flush water our cassette at the back there and then coming round to the other side we've got our underbed storage locker so for storing things underneath of the bed we've got a nice little easy locker and again we've got this wet tray in here as well so um, keeping sort of muddy boots etc into there isn't going to cause any issues Coming inside the caravan, we've got our fly screen, fly screen on the door. All of our windows have got the fly screens and blinds, so roof windows, side windows, all of them basically have got your fly screens and blinds on there. That big, lovely curved window, again, that just lets in so much light again with the roof light over the top and that, it makes this front end really, really light and feels really spacious as well. Our front seating, so this will make into a nice big double bed, so we literally just pull out from the side. Our back cushions then will come into the middle we can then if we want to turn these cushions over and turn the lumps out of the way you can configure those how they want to be that is going to suit you best we would normally fold these over so we've got the underside so it just makes a nice flat bed uh, really really good size that so again plenty of room for two people and even then if you wanted to get somebody a bit younger in there in the middle of something um, there is loads of room nice and easy to put up and down as well so uh, again folding it back in is literally if we've not moved our cushions over is just pushing it back in real easy so a couple of minutes to put that up and down but obviously behind you we've got the lovely big proper fixed bed so uh, if you don't need to use this as a front seating area to make into the bed these will make into good size single beds loads of room uh, on both of them to use as good single beds that side is a little bit shorter and this side is a little bit longer so hopefully you've got a short person and a taller person and you can utilize those as singles but if not it will make into that lovely double bed as you've just seen loads of storage all the way through so plenty of storage big lockers uh, lots of workspace as well and then we've got our hob which has got our three gas rings and obviously our electric ring everything else so we've got our grill and our oven again which are all on the gas and then our three-way fridge so this will work on the gas the electric and on the car when we're towing as well nice use of sockets so we've got two sockets in the kitchen area we have got one socket up the front with a tv point as well so we can put a tv onto the front side here or we have got a point at the side here so we've got two 230 volt sockets and a point for the tv here so you could actually put the tv here watch that in bed turn it around watch it up front so a couple of options just above we've got our microwave and again if you didn't put the tv there it's just a little bit more extra workspace and then we've got a nice little cupboard just underneath as well into the bathroom then so it makes We've got a lovely big separate shower and toilet, just about big enough to use that as a 
a little separate dressing area so instead of having to shut the whole van down we can just close that back window up and then use that as a nice dressing room so a good sized washroom and a really good size shower in there as well so hopefully you have liked our little quick review of the Bailey Pegasus GT65 Verona 2015 at 13995. Uh, if you need any other information, let us know. Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.